Welcome, welcome, welcome to Kickstarter Radio 1 and 2.4. I'm your host, Lipstick Patty, and we're over on GameFound, looking at the Cyberpunk 2077, there we go, the board game. 20,000 backers plus, 4 million, 7 days left. Now, I love Cyberpunk. 2077. I love the PC game ray tracing sweetness. Mwah, chef's kiss. Beautiful game. So I love the IP. Let's go down, shall we? I'm not a happy camper. We'll find out why. We'll find out why. Why? And really, I have to scratch my head and I have to be an, a really a consultant here to tell them what they should be doing and why people like the king of average is the king of a shill who was paid to look at it and not tell them why it was severely wrong where I'm going to tell you everyone's shilling with their previews and I'll tell you now shall I good god it looks terrible Look at this. you got all these tiles you put together, and it just looks so abstract on the board. And look at the enemies standing on these hover... It's like a hoverboard, which is basically a glorified gimmick to put their health down. It just looks ridiculous. I don't like that the art they have on the interiors is absolutely juxtaposed with the incredible ray tracing of the game and when you come from an IP that is known for its absolute beauty and you present me with this board which looks more abstract than art it beggars belief it really does this is the big disappointment for me is the way it looks on the table it just looks scandalous. I mean, if you're going to use tiles, you have to look at the best example in the business, which is Mansions of Madness 2nd Edition, which has incredible detail across all its tiles. But as an owner of Mansions of Madness 2nd Edition and all the expansions, it is a bit of a bear having loads of tiles. And we have advanced in this genre to now start using booklets where you can turn the page and have a beautiful full print of the art of that stage looking incredible. And we've seen innovations in using books. We totally have. Tidal Blades 2 which I cannot wait to get, hopefully shipping this year, uses three books to make a grand, incredible table presence in the center. In fact, you can just use one book, then put the other book there to open up the stage, if you want to go into that area, or even add the third to add an even bigger area. It looks stupendously fantastic and innovative. When you go back to tiles like this, unless you've got a fantastic reason for it, which there isn't actually because full print is way better than what you can do on these tiles. Um, although Mansions of Madness, I still think it is really, really good. It's just that the booklet is so easy to set up, right? And it, it just, you know, the, what do these tiles have? Zero art. If you took all the components away and just left the board in the middle, could you tell me that Cyberpunk 2077? There's no, like, IP of this at all. Like, you could have had fantastic art pieces showing you um, plaza openings of the place you're in right the the tower yakitami tower whatever it's called you could have the incredible vehicles in the game you could have npcs drawn in the fat people the people with shiny things on the road you could have done so much so much with the tyler in a art booklet adventure like you see in title blades 2 and you've done a fantastic job 
of the all the art across the cards. Yet when it came to the main thing everyone's going to be looking at is the board. It looks abstract. And that is not what I want to see in my Cyberpunk 2077 board game. I want it to look as good on the table as it does on the PC. And in my opinion, if you would have had an art book that you could have opened to show these scenes, it would have looked a world apart from what this looks like. For me, it's in prototype. Those giant minis of the people look terrible. Look, just look so big. Ah, you know, it's like, it's weird. And the fact that you can see all these enemies, even though, you know, it's potentially, you should only be able to see this stuff if you go in those rooms. It doesn't have this explorational part of that map. You're just in that map and have got a certain amount of turns to kill everybody. And it's more of a puzzle game than an actual adventure. Cross the stage, finding stuff out, getting ambushed or you know, so it, it basically, it, it it is designed with so many constraints of what, where it could have been so much more. The app is simply telling you your mission, which is a paragraph. There's, there's no campaign per se where it's, it, you know, it, it's not going to be fun because you're just doing puzzles in between, it feels like. It just feels like a huge wasted thing because you've got so much good. And when it comes to the way it looks on the table, it just looks, oh, it just looks terrible. And for the amount of money you're asking, take, you got to add on your vat here, remember peeps. Surely they could have got the artist that did the cards to do the board. Because at the end of the day, the, the art on the cards looks really good like concept um, art of what you would see in the game but when it comes to the board did somebody else do it did you run out of money it, it's like what is going on right so you've got this player board things slot into it yeah it's kind of nice but this big thing in the middle is just to put tokens in they've even got sticker packs that they say put stickers on your boards and make to make them look different because they all look the same <laughs> um, if you're playing four people it doesn't really gel that you've all got the same boards because if you're playing forward surely it complements everybody you play in a different class You've got the hacker, you've got the melee guy, you've got the range person. So, you know, that you could have actually done these a little bit different because if you look at the cards, so the cards are all colored towards a certain type of player. You could have done the boards similar, but they've just gone generic board, whatever. Now, there's a lot of content here, but you can do a lot of content with missions if you're just making them puzzles and that's not exactly what I want out of a cyberpunk game now they do say you are going to be following a storyline which is similar I do like the pins by the way <laughs> I think they look nice they look nice on a hat that's saying something that the one thing I do really enjoy is the pin set um, you are going to be following the campaign of the video game, but it's kind of, you're not really giving me the story of the video game. If I, it's um, abstract from it, it has been abstract. Now, minis are look good. They're bringing people in from the game. They're bringing NPCs that you work with in the game. For, for example, um, River Ward here, he's the homosexual policeman that you can date in the game. It was kind of awkward, him coming on to me. <laughs> what else the guy character? It's like, uh, yeah, you can back off, dude. <laughs> I'm dating somebody else and they don't have three legs. <laughs> um, but essentially all these side missions and stuff is just more puzzles, stuff that you're getting and uh, it is what it is.
Right, so, you know, that's where I am. They're putting a lot of effort into this. It, it's these big things here, the... Uh... Like, because, yes, you can just use the base. Deluxe gets these stupid things here, and it's got, like, a rotation of health in it. It really is. It looks too big on the board. It really does. Yeah. Yeah, these are the stickers that they say you can stick on your boards to make them look different. Um, that's a bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> And they're going through all these stretch goals, and they don't really see the tile art as a problem, because for them it is abstract. Now you can see a little bit here of the dark and dingy, but it still could look a hundred times better if it was in a book look. And you know, if there's anything about Cyberpunk, it's such a vibrant video game. It really is. And to have dark, dingy tiles across what we, what they're showing, at least, is very disappointing. Very disappointing. Sorry. All right. Good representation of the cast from the video game. Good concept art, of course, on the cards. Love all that, of course. Yeah, can't complain about how it looks, card-wise. Um, geez, it's a big page, isn't it? So much going on. So, yeah, I mean, for me, it's just a big red got card crafting that looks good it all looks good but it's kind of not what I want but not what I want to see it's like if the board game doesn't look good on the table then it's not gonna be in my collection sweetheart it's as simple as that and you're killing yourself with these tight tiles it really is and it's weird because when you see it on the table, the thing that sticks out like a sore thumb is this battleship grey walls you're using to connect all the tiles. It just looks bonkers. It really does. And I don't know why all these tiles are night. They all seem like you're in the night when you do almost all all of your missions in the video game during the day. Because you get up in the morning, you have your coffee, you've got buffs in the morning. You've got that buff for being getting up out of bed feeling good. And when you're in the night, you're a little bit sluggish. So, you know, a little bit disappointed that you're doing a lot of this stuff in the night. Arasaka Tower, that's the thing. Right, so, the, so, so yeah. Could have been good, but they went a different way. You know, it's, it's like, so white that the borders are so white and you know there's, even though they have a little bit of detail here it's just disappointing of what, what it would look like in the game so yeah I mean I would have said these missions should be during the day. You should see vibrancy in all the locations. You should see reflections. You should see incredible futuristic locations and uh, and stuff where you would be really excited to turn the booklet to see the next part of the art world that you're going in. But here it's pulling you into another dark environment. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, 
does it play good? Doesn't play like a campaign that I would have liked. Does it look good on the table? It doesn't look good on the table, that's the thing. And you've got those giant minis that just look ridiculous in the scene. There's no sense of adventure. Every, every enemy is already there and it's, yeah, it's yuckety yuck is what I think. So, and this is what I, I think. It's like, you've got all these YouTubers that are getting paid to cover it and not one of them has said you should really be using a booklet, you know, and have better art because it just looks toilet on the table. Look at it. It looks so prototype. Are you really using tiles? Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, just look at Tidal Blades 2 Kickstarter and have a look at what they did with the adventure. It looks so inviting, so it looks so sexy. In fact, it's board game pornography. You just want to look at it. Oh my goodness. And this stuff, it is awful to see. It, it's like an ugly looking board game. And for that, for me, is the red flag that says, Hey, you peeps, how many? <laughs> 20,000 backers, are you kidding me? <laughs> it's, the, it's the fact that I'm a snob when it comes to how the game looks on the table, and this is abhorrently good looking, is it? It's just. It's just, oh, it's just, oh. So I guess in, enjoy your game. And, and, and for me, I know there's people that like the Ivy League games, blah, 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 that don't even have an artist on their team. They don't mind the game not looking great or whatever. But for me, it's too much, too much to fathom. And uh, such many design choices around how it looks on the board were just Failure after failure after failure. Big F is what it good. Where the rest of the rest of what's going on is a big W, but the main event on the table is the big F. And for that, I'm afraid, I do not recommend it at all. And uh, I would be very cautious backing this as well, just because you might. Be disappointed when it gets on the table and realize oh I didn't watch those playthroughs and I didn't get I, I didn't realize that it looked like that on the table <laughs> anyway strong IP didn't use the R on the board and using an old school tiles to represent the board even though it is it been it, it has been evolved into a better thing in modern board gaming. So th this is like going back to Mansions of Madness, turning down the art, making it look worse, and having these battleship gray walls that just, uh, uh, it's like c contrast so much that you can't help but see it. Really, the walls themselves should merge into not, you don't really see them. And it's the rooms that really have their own character. Whereas hit what they're showing, it's they don't really have much character at all. And Night City is a beautiful character that they could have represented. And it's a shame, a dying shame that they chose this pair. But anyway. I'm just one guy and one guy's opinion and a guy who's a snob when it comes to board games on the table. But I, what do you think about Cyberpunk 2077? Are you okay with it looking like that? <laughs> and all that good stuff. You will find honest opinions on this channel. And even though sometimes I'm super pumped and positive for a Kickstarter, that is just means that they have excited me from what they're showing. And uh, th this is the opposite of that, where I'm not happy what they're showing, and it has turned into a negative video. So, uh, yeah. All my videos, by the way, are 
free, you know. I don't get paid for nada. Thank you very much. This is just one guy <laughs> passionate for Kickstarter and crowdfunding and uh, like to share the passion when I discover cool things. But this four million dollar ugly beast had to bring a video uh, just to show you my thoughts, peeps. Well, give the video a like if you like the honesty. Think about subscribing on the channel and look at our special programs where we might have a video that piques your interest, especially if you like crowdfunding board games. So thank you so much for watching. I'm your host, Lipstick Patty. You take her, stay safe. And if you go to Night City, play it on the PC with full ray tracing and have a blast. But not the board game. Thank you very much. You take her, stay safe, and bye-bye for now.